Hello, hello, it's Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. Welcome to my channel. So, today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to work in my um, collage journal or art journal, whatever, whatever you want to call it. It's just where I practice um, different techniques and um, um, different challenges and things like that so um, yeah yeah it's just a just a fun place to to play actually I have a lot of blank spots but I have a lot of used up spots too so um, th this is inspiration from Natasha at Treasure Books hi Libby and Today I watched her video from last week and she was showing 13 um, things that you can make um, that are quick makes, to, you know, for like to put in your journals or to like maybe if you wanted to do um, bazaars and stuff like that, you could take the things with you and, and sell them. Um, or if you had a shop, maybe you'd want to put them in your shop. Um, she didn't suggest those things. I, I did. Um, but she shared something different, not something that she was really doing. Um, she shared some journal cards that she had made out, and she made them look like houses. Interesting houses. Just whimsical houses. Fun houses. But she also shared her um, art journal where... The whole thing is full of these cute little houses that she makes. So I wanted to try that today and see what we can come up with for our own little houses. Um, I was really, really thrilled with it. Like this, it could be a bakery. Do you see that? I'd have to reshape that side, I think just so that it would be this similar, but, um, yeah. So I wanted to do that today, uh, just to play and have a little bit of fun in my book. And, um, yeah. Hang on, I'm looking for a, another tool. Here we go, this one, the scallop. I, I don't think it's this one. No, it's not. But we'll just do that and it'll be part of the building. Oh, it might have been that one. Anyway, there we go. There's part of our, our bakery. And the reason I say that is because it's got bakery goodies on it. Um, and she made, you know, good size houses and stuff. But they can be however we want them to be. Kind of like this card as a building. And if you wanted to leave it as a card and then make it into a building, then you'd have a card building. So we could do that. Um, let me set it aside to think about that one. Um, these are just some pieces that I have set to go that can go in the what's in my box. Um, oh boy. So I need a roof. So I think maybe here's some plates that could be like a restaurant next to the bakery. And I have this. I think this would make a cute um, roof on this bakery. So I'm going to glue that kind of on there. Yeah. I think that's what I should do, is glue it on. I don't really know. It wasn't 
you know, she wasn't showing how to make them. She was just showing that she had made them. And it was so wonderful. Look at this. We have two. But it was just fun. It was fun to see it. And I am someone who absolutely adores houses. And I think they are so much fun to do. I like the plates better, but we got plates over there, so we better use the silverware over here at the bakery. Okay, now we've got that. Okay. Now. We can cut our roof any way we want, like this, if we want. Why not? So there we go. There are, oops, I'm sorry. I whacked you. So sorry. And then this could be another house over here. Um, no, it doesn't matter. I shouldn't say no because it really does not matter. It can have the same roof. Maybe they're the same business. Okay, so we'll put that on the top of this house. So, but I thought, you know, for someone like me who loves houses, I just love them. I love to look at houses. I, I just, I just love them. And, um, I thought, you know, this is such a good deal for me. <laughs> I need to do some houses in a book. And I just thought how fun it would be to make some houses in a book. And have our own little whimsical thing here. Perhaps there's a little garden in between the houses here. We could maybe put a garden in. Um, we could put something in there. I'm sure we have some flowers. There's some flowers that could be in there. A rose garden. Yeah, I don't know. Let's put them together. Like this. Okay. So I'm going to put this one down first, but I think I'll give it some ink. Anyway, I was just kind of thrilled with the idea. I love the idea of um, putting houses in. I um, I love to, um, when I draw, if I draw, I'm not very good at it. Um, I love to draw houses and put them all over on my papers and stuff because they're just so quaint and quiet and beautiful and you know I like to hang clotheslines across uh, one house to the next and um <laughs> you know just I like to put a church in the middle of the um the big city and all that kind of stuff I just adore it so 
We'll start with this one actually because that one has to go over it. Otherwise it will disappear. And this journal is so close to being filled up. I mean, I have I have a lot to do in it. So don't get me wrong when I say this, but I mean, it's, it's fairly close to being full. Um, that I would like to get it finished. And I think finishing it up with a bunch of houses would be so fun. You know, it's fun for me. It might not be fun for you, but... It just shows that you can do art however you want. And um, you don't have to put them straight together like this. Uh, it's just something I chose to do. Um, my buildings have to have chimneys. So I'm going to give this one a really... I'm going to put it right there, I think. And, uh, let's see. Oh, I like that. That chimney's kind of cool. Let's see if I can get this in here somewhere. Should never paste down your stuff until you're you're ready. <laughs> oh, I knew that. Okay, there the the bigger place has a bigger chimney, and um, we'll need some doors and that kind of thing in here. So I like this for a door. You can see that I had these, you know, like set up for little booklets and stuff. Um, actually, these are... Hmm. All kinds of little booklets. Um, that might work. Tags. Yes. Um, a door. I'm going to put this in as a door. Right here. I know it's a big door, but it's a store. And since it's a store, it has to have a big door. Don't you agree? Whoops. I'm messing that one up. So we're going to put this in like this, but we better ink it. Might have to get out the black ink. Don't usually use the black, but it may require it to make a more defined area. Let's see, coffee, potting soil, ground espresso. Maybe if I spray my ground espresso, it'll revive it for a little bit. I don't think I have ground espresso as a re-anchor. Okay. There we go. And then we have this window. Maybe we had better put two windows up there. Um, I'm going to spray this to get it to um, ink up a little bit more. Oh yeah, much better. Mm 
much more defined like that. So we'll put that up there. And here's the other one. Anyway, she was showing um, other projects that she has. She has um, like little boxed up stations for herself. So she, if she was going to work on houses, she would take her scrap stuff for her houses, you know, like if they were going to watch TV together and as a family or something. And she would take her stuff up while, while the TV's playing to, to do that. And um, she had one for... Um, making uh, little um, tassels and things like that to go on journals. And she had um, little notebooky ones and I just really quite cool actually, I thought. Um, these are not very whimsical with all the same stuff. So I better go with this one. This will be another door. Put it over here. some windows so there's one okay this one will have big tall windows but not that tall Those were just a little too tall. Okay. Yeah, she showed a lot of really cool things, so I really recommend you go watch her video. Um, it was 13 something for journals or 13 ideas or something. You know, she has all these great ideas <laughs> and uh, she always inspires me I love to watch her videos I'd love to be able to inspire by having a video once a week I think that would be so cool you know and uh, but it takes me more time what did I do with it <laughs> what did you use my at the window? How much is that dog in the window? Hmm. Seem to have lost it. Well, good heavens. And I had it cut out so nicely, too. Guess we'll have to go with that one. Because I don't know what I did with the other one that matched it. Anyway, 
inked it. I just don't know where it went. It's probably looking right at me. Nothing over there. Strange, strange, strange. It's probably on the floor. It probably went straight to the floor. Oh, let's see. Yep, that's where it went. Straight down to the floor. So, let's go ahead and give this house another window right up here. How about a nice big tall window? Yeah. Love it. And of course this window would be like a balcony area too. So we probably would want to put a balcony out there of some kind. So, and we better give it a couple of posts so we can Probably have another really skinny one for a top rail like this. Maybe like that. Probably thinking, what the heck is she putting on there? Well, my honey, it's a, it's a balcony. It's a balcony. Don't want to fall off our balcony. Right, 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 right. There. Oh, that's a nice balcony. And so, I think we need some flowers out in front of our house. Here, yep. And probably oh, better put another one over here or something. We have this. Uh, 
Let's see. Let's put this one right there. Right here. Maybe we can tuck that in there. Like so. Just to cover that little corner. Ferns would have been good right there, huh? Let's go ahead and cut this down some more. I forgot to ink these. Okay. So they have some pretty roses out front. And let's go ahead and another rose in. What did you guys think of the artwork for King Charles? Did you see it? I kind of was disappointed. An artist for depicting it that way. It just seemed kind of creepy and weird. It didn't seem very honorable to me, but you know, maybe I'm, you know, I'm not, I don't live over there. Maybe people love it. But I just didn't, I didn't, I guess I didn't get it, you know. I mean, I understand some of his reasoning for what he did, but golly, you know, he's the king. You should give him an, a really honorable painting to go with um, the rest of the, the kings and queens, I think, you know, the royalty. It's just the way I think about it, but you know, maybe I'm maybe my thinking is wrong. I don't know. Okay, so we have that now. Um, let's cut out a cloud if we can. I don't know if I can. So here's one cloud. Let's ink it up a little bit. Might be a little storm coming on. Better put some little storm clouds in there. There's a cloud that says insects. <laughs> Every cloud should have an insect in it. Um, we got some more left. Here's one with a butterfly in it. Yeah, let's put it there. Anyway, I kind of felt bad for King Charles because I thought, you know, he's dealing with cancer right now and I don't know. It just seemed kind of inappropriate to present him with that. 
I guess it really made me feel quite bad for him. But if he likes it, then that's what's important. There's some blues that could make some different clouds. Oh, there we go. Here's some clouds. Whoops, forgot to ink it. Oh well. So this is using up some good amount of um, stuff. A good amount of um, scrap paper. I like that. Okay, now our fireplace needs to have something, so let's see, what could it have? No, not that. That won't work. The idea is there, but it's not. It's not. Um, it won't work. But we do have this, and this will work. Okay. We just go kind of like this. Hey, stop it. <laughs> Not letting me. Not letting me do what I want to do. Okay, Whew. that was hard. And then we have smoke coming out of this chimney.
we go. So there's some smoke coming out of the chimneys. Um, that one needs a little more, doesn't it? What else could it use? this is the wrong jar. Let me grab the other one. Oh, look at this. I could put this right here. Okay. Oh, oh, here's some good smoke. Okay. So we're going to use some lacy stuff for smoke. Okay. <laughs> Help. Not letting me get away. Okay, now this. I'd like to put it right across here. Okay. Okay. There we go. I like that. Okay. That looks kind of nice. That on there. Um, now it needs something right down along there, doesn't it? it? Needs something. Something, something, something. Um, yeah, maybe this. What do you think? That? Or should I flip it and give it some brilliant color? Ah, go for the brilliant color. Right.
There. Okay. Now, it is missing a little bird or something, isn't it? Maybe it's missing some mountains in the background. Nope. I do think it needs a bird or two. Um, you know, flying or floating or fluttering or something. But I don't have any little birds right now, I don't think. But I love it. Anyway, regardless, so we used up some scraps, and I had fun. And that, my friends, is what's important, is to have fun. And, let's see. I guess that's it. There you go. So, one whimsical collage. Thanks, Natasha. It's just what I needed to do. It was a lot of fun. I can't wait to make another one. Page two is coming up soon. I love being able to use my scraps like this. So, the bakery and the restaurant next door to each other. And I will see you all tomorrow. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you like. Share the video if you like. And become a subscriber if you like. Love you guys. Bye.